Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a clear version of this headphone dust plug I got from Strapier World and this is what the finished version will look like. So for this you'll need some colours of clay, you can choose any colours you want, I went for pink and white. You'll also need a needle tool or just a plain needle, a blending tool and a blade, a headphone dust plug from eBay or Etsy, some eye pins and some jump rings. So first take a ball of your clay that you're going to use for the wool and place this onto the dust plug just to check the sizing and then roll out a log of clay, make this pretty thin and you want to wrap this around the clay to make it look like a ball of wool. This doesn't need to be too neat so don't worry about it looking too neat. Once you've wrapped it all the way around you want to press it down just slightly, roll it in your hands a little bit to make sure it won't come off. And then if it loses some texture, you can use a needle tool to create some more texture back into it. Place it on top of the dust plug just to help with creating the texture and so you can still keep the right size and shape. Then take a small log of clay, the same colour as your wool, and just cut off a tiny part and blend this onto the bottom to create the little bit of wool that sticks out the bottom. <laughs> Then your ball of wool is complete. Now for the cat, create, create a ball for the head and sort of shape it with your fingers like this. It's kind of hard to explain but use the end of a paintbrush or something to help create a dint in the head so you can smooth out the clay into the shape of the ears. have something that looks a bit like this. Next take another ball of white clay or whatever colour your cat is and create a tapered log shape with a larger end at one end which will create the bum of the cat. <laughs> take a blade and cut off the front part at a diagonal and this will help put the head on easier and it will give the right angle for it. Then smooth this on using a blending tool. You can also use your fingers to smooth it on. I found that it created lots of dents in the clay, so I had to smooth it out a lot with my fingers as well. You should have something that looks like this. Next you want to create the legs. Just roll out a lot of little logs of clay, well, four logs of clay, and attach these onto the cat, two at the front and two at the back. And don't forget the blendies on as well in case they fall off. back legs in exactly the same way. Make them a little bit shorter than the front legs as they don't need to stick out as much. Then add a tail on exactly the same way. Make the tail a little bit thicker at one end. But it's personal preference how you make it really. Then your cat's body is complete. Take some TLS and insert your eye pins. You don't need to use the TLS but it does make it more secure. So add an eye pin carefully into one of your cat's paws and add one into the top of the wool as well. 
and then you can bake according to your package instructions. And you can clean it after baking with some nail polish remover and a piece of cotton. I'm using E6000 glue to attach the headphone plug to the wool and I apologise for the horrific lighting at this point. <laughs> I'm using some black acrylic paint to paint on the cat's face and using a dotting tool and a needle tool, you can use a needle to paint these on. You can pretty much paint on the cat's face however you want. You could have it looking angry as it's trying to grab for the wool, or you can have it looking sad. I just put on a normal blank cat face, but you can do whatever you want. Then let the paint and the glue dry and then you can glaze your cat. I use Duraclear glaze which is why it's super shiny, I really like that glaze. Then you can use some pliers and attach your jump rings. You can also use a piece of chain for this as well, but I thought jump rings were just as easy. Your little cat dust plug is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope the lighting wasn't too terrible. I'm sorry but in the winter I just cannot film with natural lighting anymore so I have to deal with what I have. <laughs> but anyway I hope you enjoyed. So this is the dust plug from Strapia World and this is my handmade version. I think it looks pretty good compared to the original. So I hope you enjoyed again and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.